Now we want to create an add button. We need an add button here to add a new button. So let's create that component. Let's call it add button.tsx. Now let's use this snippet rmfes to create a functional component. We just import, we just made our imports and view and it's like this. It's, the, it's a snippet. You can install it using uh, VS Code extensions. Just type React Native snippets. Yes, it's it's this too. Just install it to to can to be able to use those snippets. Okay, now let's create. Uh, let's add some colors. Let's go here and add a new folder called style to put our colors. Colors. Ts. Colors. Ts. I just want to use those colors. I just export an enum colors with those. Okay, black text in color and give them those names. Okay, uh, now let's come back to our to our add button. We just will import the colors. Import colors from style colors and. Our component it will be attachable opacity and inside it an image okay we're gonna give this touchable opacity a style some styling we want to be a circle and in this circle a plus icon okay so let's give him this styling styles dot con it's a shortcut for container cont will have position absolute button I want to be at the button so I will give him 50 because I want I want it to be in the button at the button align self I will make it in the center of screen so I give him this property align self in the center background color will be our main colors colors dot main color and it's a black color uh, it's a uh, something uh, blue color z index i will give him one to be over the box the box i will give him the height of 60 and width of 60 so i want it a circle so i will give him border radius 30 and finally just by content center and align items center center okay so now i want the image the plus icon so i will make a folder called icons and i will just drag and drop the image you view this icon plus icon and i will Put it in our icons folder. It's a plus image. Okay. So our image will be our source is require um, we go to assets icons the name of it plus dot png. Okay. So let's save it. Now we need to just import this button in the main screen. So let's go to home and add this button. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at it. We just we just want to give to give the image some styling. So style 
equals to styles dot image image first of all I want to be uh, a light uh, a white color so colors tint color colors dot white this tint color uh, to to change the color of the image so the image was black now it's white uh, let's give him a height and width 45 now great isn't it now our button is ready but we just need to add it and a new property to it and this property is on press on press and press on press oh. okay or just make it on add press on add press okay on add press so we if we go to home here we can use uh, the the benefit of on press of touchable opacity so let's test it on add press let's give him a test function um, let's log something like console.log button is working now let's open our metro bundler and just look when I click here button is working now we have create our add button we want when we press on this add button we want a model comes to up to have this model has uh, multiple forms the name and the and the price and the author and the cover photo we just want a model to come up to put or to enter our box data to be able to add a new book we're gonna make this in the next in the next lesson uh, I would like just to mention those icons we need those icons you can uh, get your icons or you can download download them from uh, github or i or i will gonna give you uh, put a, a link in the description so you can download those icons so we are gonna need them in our app and thanks for your watching and see you in the next video Please don't forget to subscribe and to like this video.